Okay, my first video tutorial about Bezier Path Basics demonstrated how to create basic Bezier Paths with straight line segments. Now let's get a little more advanced by talking about how to create curved Bezier Paths. First click the Pen Tool to enter Pen Tool Mode. Single click on the canvas to begin a new Bezier Path. Now when appending an additional point to the path, instead of just single clicking to add a point, try this. Single click, but before releasing the mouse button, immediately begin a drag across the canvas with your mouse before releasing the mouse button. You'll see that not only a normal point has been added to the path, but also two additional control points are also visible. These two control points are represented by slightly smaller round handles connected by pink lines to the main path point. These smaller control points control the curve of the path segments between the two corresponding points on the path. Now I'm going to close the path by clicking on the original point. The path was committed and we've automatically been switched back to the default vector mode as you can tell by the mouse cursor which changed back to the default arrow. After a path has been created, of course you can always go back and edit the main points along the path by clicking and dragging them. But you can also edit the control points by dragging them. This adjusts the curves of the corresponding path segments. If you've changed your mind about a certain segment and would like it to consist of straight lines instead of curves, you can remove the control points in the following way. Hold down the control key on the keyboard, that's the modifier key with the icon that looks like a four-leafed clover, and single click on any main point with corresponding control points. You'll see the control points immediately disappear and the surrounding path segments become straight lines again instead of curves. If you change your mind again and decide you'd like those segments to be curved after all, you can always get the control points back in the following way. Hold down the command key again on the keyboard, and then single click and drag on any main point on the path. You'll see the control points reappear and the corresponding path segments become curved again. So to review, to remove control points, hold down the command key and single click on any main path point. The control points disappear. To re-add control points, hold down the command key and single click and drag on any main path point. Okay, let's look at working with control points in a little more advanced way. As you can see, any point on a path that is not an endpoint has two corresponding control points. And by default, those two control points are linked. Dragging one control point automatically makes the other linked control point mirror your changes automatically. Often this is exactly what you want as it makes for smooth paths. But to create some types of paths, you need a different effect. That is, sometimes you need to unlink control points so that they can be edited independently of their peer. To unlink a control point, again, hold down the command key on the keyboard and then single click and drag on a control point. You'll notice the control point has become unlinked from its peer and you can edit it independently. This causes a dent or a point in the curved path, but that's often what you want. If you change your mind and decide that you'd like two control points to be linked after all, you can do that in the following way. Again, hold down the command key on the keyboard and single click and drag on the corresponding main path point. This will relink the corresponding control points and allow you to edit them together again. So to recap, command click on a control point to unlink it and edit it independently. And then command click on a main point to relink its corresponding control points and edit them together. Sometimes, you like, sometimes you'd like one, but only one of the control points to exactly match its corresponding main path point. You can collapse a single control point by holding the command key and single clicking a control point. You'll see the control points are unlinked and one of the control points is collapsed and disappears so that it exactly matches its corresponding main path point. Again, that's command click on a control point. Now you can edit the curve on a single side of the main path point by dragging the remaining unlinked command point. To get both control points back, just command click and drag on the main point. Again, the control points are relinked and both reappear for editing. One final tip. Sometimes when you're creating a complex Bezier path in the pen tool mode, it's nice to be able to unlink control points while you are still creating the path. I'll demonstrate by creating a heart shape with the pen tool. I'll re-enter pen tool mode by pressing the P key on the keyboard, and I'll begin creating my heart shape with a single click and drag. Note that I began dragging immediately after clicking before I released the mouse button. You can see the two control points appear. The two control points are linked by default as usual. That is, dragging one control point causes the other control point to mirror the movement. Now, to conveniently create my heart shape while I'm still here in pen tool mode, I need to unlink my control points now. 
so I'll press the command key on the keyboard while I'm still dragging my control point. I still haven't released the mouse button. You can see the control points were unlinked when I pressed the command key, and now I'm editing just one control point. Perfect. When both control points are placed where I'd like them, I'll finally release the mouse button and move on. To create the next point, I'll single click and immediately begin dragging before releasing the mouse button. I'll continue dragging until one of the control points is placed where I'd like it. Once again, I'll unlink the control points by pressing the command key on the keyboard now. The control points are unlinked, and I'll place the second con control point where I'd like it to be. Now, finally, I'll close the path to create a heart. Now I'll delete my heart by selecting it and pressing the delete key on the keyboard. And now I'll repeat the creation of a heart one more time for demonstration purposes. Finally, note that you can rotate any Bezier path by first selecting it on the canvas and then adjusting the rotation wheel control in the Geometry Inspector palette on the right. As you can see with the Bezier path features demonstrated here, you can create literally any conceivable path or shape. And that's everything you need to know for advanced Bezier paths.